Welcome back. This is lesson six of machine learning Zoom Camp session three, and we will talk about mutual information, which is a way to measure the importance of um, categorical variables. So in the previous lecture, we looked at uh, uh, risk ratio as a way to measure uh, the importance of uh, different categorical variables, and um, it applies to uh, each value within a, a variable. So let's say if we have a, a variable uh, contract and then it has values like one to month, one year and two years uh, within each uh, sub uh, subgroup that this contract uh, variable defines, we can see that uh, people who are on month to month contract, they are more likely to churn than people who have two year contracts. It uh, tells us that uh, probably contract variable is important but we have no way of saying that contract uh, is perhaps more important than uh, other variables or not, or that gender is uh, less important than others. So mutual information is a concept from information theory that actually it can tell us, uh, tell us how important each variable is. So there is a link on Wikipedia. It says that mutual information of two random variables is a measure of mutual dependence between two variables. So it... Uh, uh, like if we read uh, later, it says it quantifies the amount of information that we get uh, about one variable by observing another variable. So uh, the way we can uh, think of this is how much do we learn about churn if they observe the value of a contract. Uh, if we know that uh, this particular customer has a month to month contract, how much do we know about churn? So this is exactly the kind of relationship we are interested in. And mutual information, which is defined uh, like there's a formula somewhere here. Uh, yeah, that uh, is quite complex. We will not go into details. Uh, we just need the intuition. And the intuition is uh, the higher mutual information is, the more we learn about the charm by observing the value of uh, another variable. So uh, we can again use scikit-learn. So scikit-learn implements uh, uh, mutual information. We don't need to write uh, to implement this formula ourselves, so we can just import it from scikit-learn, and it lives in the metrics uh, uh, package. Uh, it's mutual uh, mutual information score. So this is what we need to use, and uh, the way it works. So we need to uh, first say uh, what is the label we are interested in. So for us, it's uh, our target variable, so labels uh, true. Um, the target variable is uh, a churn. And another variable that uh, we know, like a feature, uh, let's say contract. So we provide these two values. And it's actually, I don't think it matters in which order we pass. Yeah, you see, so uh, it's actually the same uh, regardless of the order. Like it doesn't matter in which order we pass. And it tells us how much do we learn about churn by observing the contract, the value of a contract variable, and likewise, uh, and uh, likewise, how much do we know about the contract variable by observing the churn. We can see, let's say, if we now compare it with gender, we see that gender is uh, super not uh, informative. So if somebody tells us, if this customer is female, we learn nothing about whether uh, they are going to churn or not. But if somebody tells us that uh, this person has a month-to-month -month contract, we learn quite a lot. Uh, we know that uh, this person is actually at high risk of churning. Right? So for us, this information we get from learning about the contract is far more important than uh, um, we get from learning about gender. We can also check other variables, so for example, partner, uh, yeah, and for partner, we see that it's uh, definitely more important than gender, but far less important than uh, contract. Let's see uh, this uh, maybe interpretation of uh, this as number of bits that we learn is um, tricky. So we cannot uh, really quantify, okay, like it's uh, 0.009 bits. Um, it's very difficult to interpret. But what we can definitely learn from these numbers is what is the relative importance of each feature. So we see that uh, contract is definitely more important than partner, and partner is definitely more important to know uh, than gender. 
what we can do is we can apply this uh, metric to all the variables, all the categorical variables we have, and see uh, which of them has the highest uh, mutual information, which of them has the lowest feature information. So for that, we'll use uh, this uh, function called apply. And uh, apply takes in a function with one argument. And this mutual information has two arguments. So we actually need to wrap it into a function with just one argument. So let's call it uh, mutual info churn score. And then here we pass a series and we return. Uh, so we apply the series, we pass it to mutual information score function. And here we keep the second argument as churn. Right, so we have this function, now it takes only one argument, and we can apply this function to the to our data frame. So it will apply this function column-wise for each column. Uh, we probably actually need to only apply it to categorical columns. So we apply this function, and uh, yeah, so this is what we get. So for each column from this list, it uh, applies mutual information score and returns the result. What we want to do now is we want to order this to sort it um, such that the most important ones come first. So let's uh, call this series MI, which is mutual information. And we can now sort this. Uh, we can sort it by using uh, uh, sort values function. Uh, yeah, we see that uh, now it sorts everything. And uh, yeah, we see that uh, maybe let's uh, sort it using this uh, ascending uh, false. We need ascending false. We want uh, the most important ones to come first, the least important ones to come last. So what we can see here is that uh, the contract is the most important variable and gender is the least important one. And then variables like online security, tech support, internet service, they're quite important. So they're relatively important and it goes all the way down to not important ones like gender, foreign service, uh, multiple lines. Um, seniority, we see that uh, there is a jump from multiple lines to senior citizen. It's like one order of magnitude jump. And we see that uh, partner seems quite important, um, but in relative uh, terms, it's uh, not one of the most important ones, right? So now we actually understand which variables are very useful for us, which are less useful uh, by looking at this uh, mutual information score. And actually variables like that, uh, variables like uh, that, they are very important. Um, so they have very high score and we're really interested in these variables. So this, uh, these variables is why uh, machine learning actually works. So by learning that a customer has a month to month contract or it has uh, no online security, and let's say they don't use tech support, we already can learn quite a lot about this customer and all these features, all these um, values that we learn, they are pretty good indicators that maybe this customer is not likely to stick around with us for, for a long while. These are actually the kind of signals that machine learning models pick when training. And uh, so it learns these kind of patterns. And this is what allows the model to actually make predictions later when we don't know what the churn value is for these particular customers. So here in this lesson, we looked at uh, mutual information as a way to measure importance, uh, relative importance of categorical variables, but we talked about categorical uh, ones. And in the next one, we will talk about measuring the importance of uh, numerical uh, variables.